Hey guys, Ali here, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I am in Barcelona. What I'm gonna do is show you guys the best halal food this city has to offer. In a previous video, which I've just released, I go over all the traditional Spanish Catalan cuisine of Barcelona. But in this video, we're gonna go a little bit international, guys. We're gonna try and get some Pakistani food. We're gonna try and get some Middle Eastern food, maybe some burgers, some fried chicken, possibly. We're gonna kind of go all over Barcelona and try and get, oh, there's bubbles everywhere. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's bubbles everywhere. <laughs> In this video, we're going to try and get a variety of awesome, awesome food. So let's cut the intro. Let's get straight to it and head over to spot number one. First spot is going to be Bismillah Kebabish. I hear these guys have a really good mixed on a chicken and lamb. So we're gonna go inside, we're gonna check it out. Guys, so we've sat inside, it is so busy in here. I love the atmosphere in here, it's mega, mega busy. The food looks awesome, cooking in front of you. These guys have got a really wide menu, some curries going on, some really, really good looking curries. I'm gonna have a curry later on, towards the end of the video. So I'm not gonna focus on that here. What I'm gonna get is the mixed Donner. So I think they've got a chicken donut and a, a lamb donut with a side of rice and salad. That looks good. That's what I'm going to show up. But the food here looks insane. It looks wicked. Okay, so my food is out. This is the mixed donut. This looks absolutely awesome. Really big portion. A side of rice going on as well. Piping, piping hot. This has been sauteed with some onions, which I do in front of you, which I think is really, really cool. Delicious, flavorful. Love the chicken, love the donut. The donut's got quite a lamby taste. I think what I'm gonna do is add a bit of chili sauce. So we've chucked on a little bit of chili there. Chili, and then we've chucked on a little bit of garlic. The sauces are just on the side there. Guys, man, this is really solid. This is all six euros and 50 cents. We fancy getting rice with this. You can obviously get chips. The naan looks fresh here. I think they cook it in a proper clay tandoor oven, which is really awesome. This guy. So that was absolutely awesome. Really, really happy for that to be the first spot. There's actually a fried chicken shop down this road. There's some really cool stuff down this road. So I'm gonna show that to you next. Here we go guys. So for Dulce's fried chicken. So guys, I've placed my order. We've got a chicken burger. This place smells so good. It has that proper typical fried chicken sort of smell. It smells really good. Had a look at other people's orders. Looks really good too. So hopefully food should come out any second. I'm looking forward to trying this actually. So we've gone for a chicken burger meal. This is a weighty burger guys. It's actually got some uh, proper weight. Oh, see a tomato there, which I don't like. But I, uh, my sister ordered this and uh, if she knew me well, she would have said no tomato, but she doesn't. But uh, this looks really good. So look here guys, that looks legit to me. I'm from a city which is famous for spicy or sort of fried chicken burgers and I think this looks really good. I think there's like three slim sort of patties going on which I've not seen before which I love. That's very welcome. Cameraman's telling me that's a tomorrow. See that's a true friend. True friend and a true brother. He saved me some pain. Let's tuck into this guys. Tomato on there, some ketchup on there. Lettuce, chicken is not bad really well. Soft, flavorful. That's a really solid burger. That was in my home city. I'll eat that, no problem. That's really tasty. I got a meal which is burger, chips, drink. I think this is about 6.50. My sister paid for this if I'm being honest with you guys. I think it's 6.50 euros, something like this, you know. What I'm gonna do now is get some more food, but that's gotta be one of the best sort of fried chicken burgers in Barcelona. Absolutely love that. What we're gonna do now though, is I've had a chicken burger. We're now gonna head off to get ourselves a beef burger. I've got a really good spot to show off. I think you guys are gonna enjoy it. I certainly do. Let's head there now. Right, so here we are, wild beef. I'm gonna have a really quick look at this menu, but we're gonna get some food from here, guys. Oh, oh, I'm loving the seating options. I wanna sit down and chill, but we're gonna try this place now, I think. So sat inside, had a look at the menu. I actually got quite a lot on this menu, and looking at other people's food, the burgers look really, really big as well. 
what you need to do is go up and you order. They give you a receipt with like a number on it, but they also give you the same number on this. So when the food is ready, I think it'll get called out. I'm gonna run over and grab it. But the burgers look good. They look really good. So burger is here. This is the number 11, which is their wild beef burger with chili inside. If you look there, they've got a bit of cream cheese, which I think is a lovely touch. They also have a ton of these sauces as well. But I think I'm gonna have it as it is, just with a little bit of their chili sauce, which we've uh, put in there. The number 11 has chili, the number 10 I think has no chili. I'm lying to you guys, some have chili, some don't. Read the menu, you'll see. <laughs> but what I've got is number 10, which does have chili. But uh, let me just squish that on there. Let me take a big old bite of this. This is a big burger. They're not messing around, guys. Killing charred, juicy patty, soft bun. We've got some tomatoes in there, which I'm definitely taking out. Okay, lettuce at the bottom. I would maybe double up the patty, I think for me, just to balance that ratio. But tasty, really, really good. I would happily eat that again. So me and Taz are gonna move on, but if you fancy a burger in Barcelona, you can't go wrong with this spot. I think this is your spot, but video must go on. Lots of food to show you, so let's crack on. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, guys, we're gonna actually get a slice of pizza. This place does pizza in like a Roman style, which is pizza al taglio. Generally, in Rome, they actually cut and weigh your pizza for you. I don't think this place weighs it, but it looks like traditional Roman pizza. So let's check it out. Hello. I think what we're gonna do, guys, is get some mozzarella and pesto. Can we have this one, please? Yes, sir. Thank you. This looks pretty good actually. We went for mozzarella and pesto. So the pesto itself smells really good. I wish I could just transport smell to you. Unfortunately, I can't, I would love to. It smells really, really good. Oh, that is so light. That is so light, so crispy. They've got some aeration going on. Look at all the air pockets in there. Incredibly light, incredibly tasty. I love this pesto one there. It's not overpowering. I don't know if cameraman, can you pick up those? Uh, I will do my best. Thank you, if you can. Look at that. Crispy, delicious, I love the mozzarella on there. I love the cheese on there. Two euros is a bargain for this. I was in Rome about a month ago and I had a proper pizza taglio in the heart of Rome and this matches up to that, honestly. This is awesome, I really like this. You can hear the crunch when you bite it. Mmm, this is so good, so good. Anyway, I'm gonna munch this, I'm gonna go to the hotel, chill out, and then we're gonna gear up for a really nice dinner. I've got an awesome place to show you guys. Guys, so the final place of the video is Zishan Kebabish. So after a long and really fun day of exploring and eating through Barcelona, I'm gonna finish the day off with Zishans. These guys, I hear from my Instagram followers that it's really, really good. I've not been here before, this is my first time, but I'm saving it to the end because I hear it's really, really good. So let's go inside, let's explore the menu and the restaurant together. So as a good look at the menu, I think I've ordered some of their sort of marquee items, the best items. Firstly, what I'd say is sitting here, you could convince me I'm in Pakistan. The service, the way it looks, the feel, even like the really nice smells of the food. Really good first impression. I've ordered lots of food. Should be coming out any second now, really, hopefully. But I don't mind waiting for good food. So as soon as it comes out, I'll show you everything that I have. And then we'll have our final meal in Barcelona. But do stay by till the end. I'll give you guys my final thoughts on my trip as well. So I think the food's gonna come out on bit by bit, really, which is which is fine. I probably should have specified I want to watch together, but we're gonna start with the pagoda. These look proper legit. These remind me actually of Pakistan's pagoda, the ones you get on the side of the road. They're the best ones. The side of the road ones are the best ones. Let's get them chutney over here. But it's Pakistan, 
in a mouthful. Next, we're gonna start with the samosa chaat. Visually, I think it looks pretty good. Looks like a sort of a typical samosa chaat. Fairly sort of sloppy. It's hard to get presentation good on that, but usually full of flavor. So let's give that a go. It's a warm samosa chaat, which are like my favorite. Really nice flavor. Good kick to it. Lots of chickpeas. Oh, that's really good. But the rest of the meal is gonna be like this. We're in for a treat, guys. That's delicious. So yeah, this is the big grill, and there's a lot of stuff. So I think it's on the bed of onions. We've got a couple of these chapul kebabs, which are awesome. That looks good. If can imagine, just get some shots of that. Still sizzling. That looks good. I'm gonna enjoy that. Looks a little bit more like a butter chicken, but anyway, we'll try that in a little bit. But if we can come down and get some shots of this by cameraman, we've got a couple of different uh, sea kebabs there. Some chicken body. It's green chicken. Honestly, no idea what it is. Got some lamb. Some more sea kebabs, a lot of sea kebabs there, a couple of chicken kebabs on a bed of uh, onions. This looks really, really good. And we've got another curry going. This is lamb. That's the lamb curry, is it? Please. Yeah, lovely, thank you. And then we've got some naan there. So we've got a little bit of a feast going, really, guys. Let me just tuck into this and I'm going to tuck straight into the curries. I'm going to go for this chapul kebab first, guys. You might hear little bits and bobs uh, in the background, guys. I'm actually here with my family, I'm enjoying a meal. I think they're going to they're gonna like this. The chocolate kebab is actually, thank you brother. The chocolate, oh, it's lots of none, it looks really good. Um, I'm a little bit scattered because there's so much food, I want to try it all. So, chocolate kebab is really, really good. It's chicken rather than lamb which, and beef, which I think is a nice touch. Let's go for, do you know what? Let's go for this chicken body next. What I'm going to do, guys, because it's so hot, I'm going to sort of speed through a lot of it, but I'm going to give you my final thoughts at the end because there's a lot to try here. And I'm trying to give you guys good content, not sort of just oversaturate a video and make it like 40 minutes long. Oh, this chicken here is soft. This one here, I'm gonna dip this into some curry. That one is incredibly soft. I really, really like that one. I'm gonna just destroy this grill with my family and move on to the curry. But so far, this is really authentic Pakistani cuisine. This tastes like I'm in Pakistan, which is exactly what I was after. I think what we're gonna do now, oh, this, uh, <laughs> the actual naan is super boiling hot. If we can come down here, cameraman, let's show these lovely people this lamb curry. I think compared to like a UK one or certainly a Pakistani one, it's a little bit lighter in colour for sure, I would say. I'm used to being a little bit darker maybe, but let's, uh, let's try it. I think the curry is decent. Nothing to write home about. Honestly, it's serviceable for me, if I'm being completely frank. I think I'm like a, a little bit more uh, spice in that. But it's a good eye, just not super spicy. It's decent, but the mixed grill, the pakore, the actual uh, small salt jar were really good and I think if you've got a craving for afternoon food you're not going to be disappointed in this place guys. Okay so uh, final thoughts on that restaurant. Honestly I felt like I was in Pakistan. I've been a few times. Service food I thought was, was pretty good actually. If you've got a craving for that kind of food I think you'll probably enjoy that place. The grill meats are really good. Curves are serviceable. Overall I did enjoy it. I would go again so I'm quite happy to finish my day of exploring the halal scene in Barcelona with that. Of course, all my videos are halal, but in this video, I want to focus on some international cuisine. So final thoughts really, because this is my second video, it caps off my trip in Barcelona. I'm gonna have one day where maybe I, I chill out tomorrow, but uh, no more video making. I'm just gonna relax with the family. Overall, I think it's pretty halal friendly. I've been to more halal friendly places in Europe, but I think if you're here for say like three days, I think you're not going to struggle to find lots of seafood for sure, lots of veggie food for sure, and actually a fair few uh, meat options or a lot of meat because I know that's something you just sometimes have a craving for. But I overall loved the cuisine in Barcelona. Really, really enjoyed it, guys. And uh, I can't wait to come back. This is like my third trip and my fourth trip maybe fairly soon. If you're liking this kind of content, guys, I've got Berlin coming up. I've uploaded Athens and Santorini and Malaysia and Thailand and other places as well. And that playlist is always growing. But I also have a ton of UK-based reviews. I think like 200 reviews. So make sure you check that out. Somewhere on the screen, I'm gonna put some playlists, some videos. Click on that to watch your next video. Please like the video to help it grow. And that takes me to the end of the video. Like, share, subscribe. Bye, 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 bye.